What is going on guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more Apricorn Balls aka those fancy Pokeballs that the Pokeball guy gives you only one of in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Okay, so in this tutorial, like as mentioned before, I'm going to be showing you guys where to get these extra Pokeballs because as you notice, when you talk to the Pokeball mascot dude, he only gives you one of these special types of Pokeballs and then you use it in the wild and the Pokemon breaks out of it and then you're like, how do I get more of those Pokeballs? Because they don't sell them anywhere. So basically all you got to do is open up your town map and this is actually once you beat the actual championship, you beat the game, okay guys? This is once you beat the game and you're going to head over to Winden, right? You fly over to Winden and you're going to walk into that stadium, that Pokemon stadium, you know, this one right here on the screen. You're going to be walking right into this one here and you're going to go talk to the receptionist and he's going to say, welcome champion. Would you like to take part in a tournament? And you're going to say yes. And he's going to give you the options of would you like to invite to take part in the tournament today? You say there is someone who would you like to take part? It could be Leon. It could be anyone. And you're going to go through this whole entire tournament completely in the game. And once you go through the tournament, you're going to fight three battles. You're going to fight round one, round two, and then you can fight the champion, right? Once you beat the champion, you're going to have a Pokeball guy who comes up to you. And that Pokeball guy is basically going to just give you a wishing piece if it's the a new day in the game. So if the day reset in the in the game, the first thing it gives you is a wishing piece. So here's a list of the other things besides the wishing piece that the Pokeball guy will give to you. So here it is on this side of the screen, as you can see, you got the options of Beast Ball, Big Nugget, Dive Ball, Dusk Ball. And then you have the, the, the fancy ones, which he only gives you one of, unfortunately. Fast Ball, Friend Ball, right? Then you got the Heavy Ball, the Level Ball, the Love Ball, the Lore Ball, the Moon Ball, the Nest Ball. Uh, and then he gives you some other typical Pokeballs that you find in the game. Get really lucky, he'll just hand you 100 Pokeballs in general. And any other type of special Pokeball that's not the Apricorn Balls itself that would you guys would specifically want is going to be three of, right? And then there's these other items, but that's not really important because, I mean, we're hitting this for the Apricorn Balls because that's really hard Pokeball to get in the game. So if you're wondering what an Apricorn Pokeball is, it is a Pokeball that started in the second generation where you get Apricorns from trees, you, you stick them together, and then you get yourselves a special Pokeball. Now we have a couple of Pokeballs that you guys want to keep note of. We have the Lore Ball, which is a blue and red Pokeball, and it's easier to catch Pokemon that you get from fishing in it. You get the level ball, which is a nice yellow, red, and black kind of Pokeball. And Pokemon whose levels are lower than your Pokemon are easier to catch. Pretty good one. Moon ball, which is probably one of my favorite Apricorn balls in the game, is a nice blue, black, and has a nice moon on top. And it's basically easier to catch Pokemon that need a moonstone to evolve. So you want to use that for that. But you don't have to, obviously. Uh, you got the heavy ball, um, which is for really heavy Pokemon, I like catching Onyxes and Steelixes and really heavy Pokemon that have a gray or blue tone to it. Then we got the Fast Ball. So the higher Pokemon speed, the easier it is to catch. It's pretty cool. I want to get a Pikachu in that Fast Ball because it has a nice Lightning Bolt on it. Or you can catch Electric Pokemon in it if that's what you choose to do. You got your Friend Ball, which is basically uh, going to help you gain happiness in that Pokeball, if you if you catch a Pokemon in it, and it's green and red and has a little yellow on it. And then we have the Love Ball, the beautiful heart pink Pokeball. Um, Pokemon with different gender than yours are easier to catch. So if I have a male Pokemon and I'm bat battling a female Pokemon, it will be a lot easier to catch that using the Love Ball, which is nice. So those these are the Apricorn Balls. Now let's get into the other specifics of the video. So basically to recap everything we said, Every new day that resets in your Pokemon game, the first championship you beat will give you a wishing piece. And that wishing piece you can use in max raid battles. Everything after that guaranteed wishing piece will be giving you a random item from that list, aka one of the special Pokeballs. And basically, you just do this over again, stock up. It's pretty annoying because it is RNG to get these Pokeballs, but this is the method right now to get extra Apricorn Balls. To, if you're one of those people who just like having a really cool Pokemon in a specific type of Pokeball. So go ahead, get out there, beat the championship, get those Pokeballs, and uh, let me know down in the comments below 
which apricorn ball aka the one types of pokeballs that you get like the heavy ball friend ball all that stuff is your favorite one and what pokemon would you like it on in pokemon sword and shield and by the way we do have a discord where we are trading lots of pokemon as well so if you want a specific pokemon and a specific pokeball head down to the description below and go ahead and go in the discord and go ahead and trade and find out what pokemon you want to get in your pokeball or if you got pokemon in your pokeballs you give to other people my name is philly beats you and i will see you guys in the next video peace